What is a word salad? People will hear this term, they maybe don't know what it means or they don't know when they've experienced it. A word salad is when a narcissist uses a whole lot of words that are not necessary, usually and very often in writing to you, to deflect from something, to make accusations, to do anything they can to talk around a topic. It's a form of gaslighting to get you to not be able to stay on track with what you're talking about or what you're trying to have a conversation about or get information or answers from them. So let's just talk about it really quickly. Word salad is a form of gaslighting. It shuts down real communication. It, they may say things that defy logic when they're talking to you, when they're going through their word salads, right? <laughs> okay, so it's a circular talk. So, so some examples might be they might stay on the same topic. They might talk total nonsense. They might um, say the same phrases over and over and over again. For instance, if you're co-parenting with them, they may say things like, why do you always blah, blah, blah with the child? It is in the child's best interest, blah, blah, blah. And they'll use that same phrase over and over and over whenever they're trying to divert things that you need information about or divert things back to a topic that they want to just start making accusations and gaslight you for. So um, it can be repetitive conversation. So it's like you feel like you're having the same conversation over and over and over. And often these are in text, right? So you can go back and look at them and you can think, how can... How can they, like, how do they not see that they're just saying the same thing over and over and over again? And what the heck are they doing? What do they want from me? All right. Um, they, they say things that are very accusatory when they are in the word salad gaslighting. They will, you always, it's, why do you always? So they may say things like um, just basically things that point the blame back to you about every little thing. Why are you being so difficult? Why don't you want to communicate? I'm trying to communicate with you here and you never, you never answer me. You never get, you never try to talk to me like an adult. You always do this. You always do that. So those kind of things they will say when they are using word salad, they project and blame shift. All right. Don't need to explain that more, but basically, well, maybe I do. <laughs> they will say things that are um, taking the things that they're doing in, it, this often comes up when they are trying to get away from, get away with something, when they are trying to um, not take accountability for something, or they, they preload the accusations because it's something they're going to do later. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. So then they will take all of the things they're planning on doing or they've already done and they'll point it back at you and blame shift and project back. So um, they may say something and then pretend they did not say it, but then they change the subject and talk about something else when you're trying to talk about something really specific. Yeah. Um, basically the confusing conversations that go on when you are reading, especially reading something with when someone's saying it to you, it's almost like you just look at them like, have you lost your mind, right? But when it's in writing, it's the way they put it all together. It's like this monologuing, endless dialogue that completely changes the subject about the main thing you're talking about into something, even if you're not trying to talk to them, but basically you can't, you can't read through it and figure out what the question is unless you know how to read word salad. It's like reading a different language. Usually I'll have people ask me like, can you read this and tell me what they're actually asking? And you go, first sentence, like here's, a, here's an example of the structure of a text or an email from a narcissist to someone when they're either trying to hoover or accuse you later, or especially when it relates to co-parenting or parallel parenting or whatever you want to call it in your world. <laughs> it's never co-parenting, but we know that's parenting alongside whatever. Um, or when you're talking about divorcing and you're trying to work things through so that you can finalize things. It, so it usually goes like this. First paragraph is either accusations. Why did you do this? Why were you late to that? Why didn't you sign this? Why did the kids have a mud on their face, you know, like things that really don't matter, right? 
to you, you must be doing this because that lots of accusations or I can't believe you've left. I miss you so much, blah, 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 the victim thing. Okay. So it's either the accusations or the victim. Then the next paragraph often is an entire paragraph to three paragraphs, usually like a little novella, right? About nothing about that's all accusations. It's all twisted words. It's all, it's the most commu confusing communication you'll ever read. So you just don't read that part. <laughs> then at the very bottom, there might be something like, what time were you going to pick the kids up anyway? There it is. There's the question. So there's all this to ask the what, one question that could have just been, what time do you want to pick up the kids, right? But it's all buried in the word salad. And then the very last paragraph, more accusations, and then usually some blame shifting or something at the very end. And that's it. Frustrating. Beyond frustrating to deal with it. Why do they do it? Well, I just said, they're trying to throw you off, right? They do it to deflect any accountability. That's number one reason. They do it to frustrate you. They do it to blame you so they don't have to take any responsibility for anything they're doing in their life. <laughs> All right. And they do it to get a reaction. They do it because they don't want to take responsibility. And they do it to make you look bad and to make you say something back to them that will cause, they want reactivity. So they're trying to create reactivity and in their in their very best fantasy, reactive abuse coming out of your mouth so that then they can say, see, see how you talk to me? So you, this is the kind of gas, this is the kind of gaslighting that you really, really do best to gray rock. It's the kind of thing you just don't even wanna deal with a word salad. It's like, no, thank you. I don't eat that and pass it along. Bye, don't want that. All right. Um, what do you feel when you're <laughs> when you've had word salad? Usually people feel angry, they feel frustrated, they feel confused, they feel unheard, they don't get closure, they feel um, like what just happened? Or what is this person asking? Or what are they even saying? I don't understand what how I'm supposed to reply to this. I can't tell you how many people, uh, both in group coaching and, and privately, have asked me to decipher what has been said in something from because often they take it personal right so they say well, what did I do I feel terrible look what they said to me and I read it and from where I sit I'm like that's a bunch of words salad they're not actually saying anything that's the point they're not actually saying anything when they when they throw word salad at you accusations um blame shifting nonsense it, it it's not saying anything it's repeating itself it's it's just frustrating and annoying. So when they're throwing all this word salad and all these accusations and all this crap at you, they're trying to control you. So if you step away from it, you're actually, um, or if you minimize the words you say, if you don't don't respond to the word salad, only respond to the questions, it first of all frustrates them. So it's kind of, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, it frees you from allowing or engaging in something that then gives somebody else power over how you feel about yourself.